hello friends welcome back to channel in today's video we are going to cover this space issue okay one of the customer is saying we are running out of the space in slash run okay use only six percent but still he want some space to be free now what is this how you will find it okay so first thing we'll go on the slash run and we'll look oh too much files and directory also now you can do one thing du-sh star this will help you to give the all the details but this is not a perfect manner you are not able to concrete anything which file system and which is giving so what you have to do instead of using du-sh we will use du-ah a will go in each and every file and directory recursive manner and h will give you human readable if I hit the enter key, I will get all the details in all the files and directory structure. Let's see, under slash run, we are having system D, system session, and this thing. But this is a way more difficult. So, to simplify this thing, what we have to do, we have to run the slash run. Okay, and what we have to do, we will short it. So, first thing is coming in a number. Okay, short hyphen h okay human readable and if i do rh it will go reverse in human readable now using rh means the top space consuming file will be on the top okay see everything is coming zero but on top we are having something yeah bigger but now to simplify this thing head hyphen n a 10 so now what we are doing we are finding a file under slash run which is consuming most of the space and top 10 list of those files. So here we are having list of the top 10 file which is consuming most of the space under this. Now if you see 65 MB okay under slash run 65 MB is consumed by this sample.txt. So we'll go to customer under this directory we'll go and we'll see Okay, sample.txt. Let's uh, tail this file. Sample.txt. Okay, it is having some junk data. Now we'll ask to a customer. We found one file which is consuming 65 MB under this, or it could be 1 GB or 2 GB, but currently it's uh, consuming 65 MB, and this is having junk data. Do you require this data, or what you want to perform on this? Because this is under your directory then user can give two answer he don't want data but he want that file to be there present there or second he can say take a backup of that data and create a new file okay perfectly fine so what we have to do we have to find another file system which is having space okay this file system is available 1.4 gb so under temp we'll do df-s slash temp which is mounted on slash okay so now here we'll do move command mv sample.txt and slash tmp ll slash tmp sample.txt it's got there so now we have to nullify the file under this so get the name symbol and name of the file okay without space sample Okay, it got move. Okay, so we have to create another file. Touch and sample dot txt. Now we'll do sample dot txt. Okay, is a size zero. Now we'll go under slash tmp, and here we'll find sample dot txt. We'll do zip of this file. Zip zip sample dot txt. The extension got changed and you are able to see earlier was six eight one five seven four four zero now it's five one eight zero five seven four nine there is something lesser size and we have to what we have to do move this sample dot txt to that directory where it was present but as we are not aware the location of that it will do cd hyphen okay now mv 
move file from temp to sample to current working directory you are able to see we are having old file and a new file now we will see the state of slash run okay is only 5% use and 1.3 GB available we are having old data and a new file available here so this how you can find and what what's the command uh, like du hyphen ah and a path like slash let's skip slash and under this short hyphen recursive immutable plus head hyphen n or five i want top five uh, space consuming files under slash so let it find out okay it is saying slash partition is 7.2 gb slash package is having 3.2 gb slash usr this detail is giving okay and if i do slash package okay under slash package we are having these are the file available which is consume most of the space so this command is your go to command okay use this command to find which file under which directory is consuming how much space i think that's all for today's video we'll talk about a new command in a next upcoming video where we'll find out the details like with the size specific like if i am having a file of 1 gb try go and find out okay let's see it in next video till then keep learning see you in next video bye bye